All right, moving on to lesson 2.12. Here we're going to be finding the volume of cones in lesson or part two of the lesson. The objective in this lesson lesson is to develop the formula for the volume of a cone and then use that volume or use that formula to find the volume of a cone. I put this up here again just to help you remember what the parts of a cone are. This is a right cone, so the height and the axis are the same line. This is your radius of the base. Remember your base is a circle. And this outside line right here will always be your slant height. Uh, that's a surface area. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, this is talking about the right cone and the oblique cone. We kind of covered that in the last video. Uh, just reminding you about the sector. And let's go back and look at this one right here. My slides must have got mixed up or I wasn't paying attention or something. Something good like that. Let me go through right quick. And let's do the volume for a cone. Now remember I said a lot uh, was similar to a uh, pyramid. Oops. I do equals like that. Okay, remember I said that there were some things that were very similar to a pyramid? Well the volume formula is one of them. Because if you look on your formula chart the volume for finding a pyramid is a third of your base times your height, and that's the same formula that you're going to use for a cone. So, notice here that I took the capital B, that's the area of the base, this base is a circle, so you're going to be having uh, pi r squared, and then h. Remember, I don't have the pi symbol on here, so it's just, I'm putting 3.14. Okay, let's move forward. Let's start working on these examples. I'm using this oblique one. It's just to show you that the same formula works for both the oblique and the right pyramid. Again, look at these four steps. Draw the figure if not already done for you. Write the formula. Identify the variables and calculate their values. And then plug and chuck. Here's your formula. Volume equals one-third base times height. My variables are going to be the capital B, which is the uh, area of the circle, the base, and then the H is 5. Notice here, the di they gave me the diameter. I made note of that up here, that the diameter equals 10. Therefore, the radius is 5. So I plug that in, and when I square the 5, I get 25. So the area of my base is 25 pi. And you leave that pi, because remember they want us to do our answer, exact answer in terms of pi. So you don't want to get rid of that pi. So don't multiply it through. And then if you look at the diagram, the height is 5 feet. Okay, so our next step is to plug and chug. Here I've got my 1 third, my 25 pi for my capital B, my H is 5. And when I multiply those through, Look what I did here in my calculator. I took one-third, because I'm looking for my exact answer. I took one-third times 25 times 5. I just left pi out of the calculation. So I get 41.67 pi feet squared for my exact answer. And then I go ahead and take that answer, multiply it by pi, and I get approximately 130.9 feet squared. Okay. Let's look at a right cone, see how this works out. Uh, don't need to draw the figure, written the formula, identify the variables, and look here, they've given me the diameter again of 8. i got to divide that by 2 so I get my radius of 4. So the area of my base is 16 pi, the height of my cone is 6. So now I'm going to plug and chug. i got one third plugged in 16 pi for capital B, plugged in 6 for H. In my calculator I just said okay I'm going to take 1 third times 16 times 6 and that's giving me 32. Then I just bring the pi down so I got 32 pi centimeters squared. 
Next, I'm going to take that 32 and I'm going to multiply it by pi and I get 100.53 centimeters squared. Okay, so your volume is still the easier formula of the two to work out. Um, so you ought, to, you ought to be okay with this. Here's a summary. We figured out what the volume is, the volume formula that is, and then how to replace B, and I'm sorry, this right here should be a pi in both of those. I don't know why whenever I transfer the uh, formulas, why they don't... I could have swore I had a pi in here. I got a lot of operators, but I'm not seeing pi's. I was just going to kind of squeeze it in there. That looks like it could be a pi, but I don't like it. Oops. I don't I didn't like it so much I didn't put it in. Let me make it a little smaller. Let me get rid of this now that I've got that up there. There. There we go. With power squared, the formula can also be written uh, as one third pi r squared times h. This is the one I like using just because that way, I mean, because capital B could be anything. It's, it, I think I like using the more detailed formula. And then the volume form for cones can be used to find the volume of both right and oblique cones. So when you get finished watching this lesson, of course, you need to read up on the lesson in the LMS and the reference guide. Please work these practice problems so that way you'll be well prepared for the 2.12 quiz. And be sure when you get finished working those problems, if you have any questions, please uh, contact me so I can help you answer them before you take the quiz. And then again, make note of any general questions you have for when you attend CC on Thursday. And thanks for listening.